There we go. Hello, veteran 012 in here. Welcome back. And we are let's playing Blade Chronicles. In the last episode, got done exploring this snowy Valak mountain area. And in this episode, we're going to go towards that little r red flag. Because uh, it's probably going to be a story event, I think. I hope. Hopefully that's what that red flag signifies. Oh wait, wait a minute. There's a couple of different ways we can go here, like uh, like over here, for example. Where does this go? Does this make a big, huge circle? Nah, screw it. We're just gonna go in the middle. We're not gonna mess around with that other stuff right now. tower. Oh, this is that tower. Okay. Carrot Chapel? Hmm. What, are we now going to learn how to fucking break ice with Melia? Ruins. I wonder who built them. Elvis? This the place you meant? Hmm. It appears to have frozen over while I have been away. Been away? Pay me no mind. We will need to do something about the ice before we can enter. Yeah. Throw hot water on ice! Yeah, nice one, genius. Precisely. Huh? There should be a geezer nearby. In the cave next to it, we will find a stone called Magma Rock. Really? And we can use this rock to melt the ice. I believe so. So, shall we head to the cave? Sounds good. Start looking for a geezer, everyone. Right. A geezer. So instead of using Melia's magic, we're going to use a magma rock that's close to a geezer. Right. Okay. If you say so. I'm not buying it. I'm sensing bullshit. Why don't these uh, game designers think of this stuff? I mean, honestly. Melia can summon fire. But that's not strong enough to melt ice. Whatever. Where's this heart to heart supposed to be? I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's just get out there and find this freaking rock. And then I'll uh, be going to uh, previous spots to use that magma rock on ice that I couldn't melt before. Because, if you remember, in the last few episodes I did encounter some nice icy paths that I couldn't cross because I didn't have this freaking item. Supposedly... <clears throat> let you melt, melt ice, even though we should already have that ability, but whatever. So where's this cave? Oh, it's way the hell over there. Okay, well, why don't I just shortcut it? No black ash is even worth it. 
<clears throat> oh, that guy's back. Wait a minute, that's that guy's new. And he's attacking us. Yay! Cancel that attack. Ooh, that's not good either. Uh-huh. Got him. Yeah, she's uh being being rather strange right now, but yeah, I could fight this asshole again, but I'm not going to. Got the magma rock. I came with uh or I came to get what I set out to get, so I don't need to kill that guy twice. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. All right, so first things first. Why don't I head back to the upper level and by this area here? Unless they're gonna make me do a story quest telling me. Oh, uh, whatever. We'll find out in a second. I was wondering why I missed it the first time. Alright. Hey, and there we go. The ice is gone. Let's explore a brand new area. Seric Waterfall. Mountain range. Uh oh. Ugh. I want to get these three items here that are just kind of. Oh, go back. Go back. Go back. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to jump on this next part. 
Holy crap. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Nope. Oh, bitch. That sucks. I bet you gotta, like, do that with, like, a perfect timing and, like... Whoa, what'd I find? Frost glass. Ether furnace controls. What do we need an ether furnace for? Is that what's used for gem crafting? I don't get what that's about. Whatever. But yeah, this is that hot spring that we uh, couldn't get to before, I think. Right? This is a different one down here. all these fucking wet rats I keep finding. Mud squirrel? <laughs> hey, what the frick? Why are we keeping this stuff? <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Okay, so we don't need to... So in order to get all the way up to that area right there, we need to... We need to do that part again, apparently. We need to, uh make this jump so we can go all the way up there that means I gotta go all the way back here alright well whatever we'll try this again in fact I'll save my game before I get to that part or right before it that way I can just keep retrying instead of having to backtrack over and over and over again Eric Water, yeah. Get some good experience for finding these locations. Here we go. Gotta save my game. Alright. Let's do it. Ah. Uh, is it gonna be enough? Holy shit, man. How perfect you gotta be in order to... Oh, you can climb this. Well, goddamn. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I just uh, accidentally figured that out now because I just uh, kept forward on the uh, control stick. And look at that, Melia grabbed hold of the side of the cliff and now we can actually climb to the top. Isn't that nice? I think that's pretty nice. Another reef nebula. Fortune Mallow. <laughs> Whatever.
a level 99 enemy. Wow, that Breaking is very nice. Holy crap for the experience. Wow. <laughs> you got like a ton of experience for just getting up here. Yeah, I'm going to stay away from those guys if I can. No, we got level 100 enemies up here. Jesus Christ. It'd be crazy. Uh, what's this? Ancient... Ancient Giant's Door. Hmm. Okay. More amethyst vanillas, frost glass. Where does this go? Goes nowhere apparently. Well, there's something below here. I guess we'll just fall. Yeehaw! How is this area? More wet rats. Emerald snow. And it looks like we can just kind of slide down that part there, huh? Any other emeralds and crap to find up here? Nothing? Alright, let's go. Yeehaw! Hell of a long fall, wouldn't you say? Okay, we're back in this area now. So that basically means now that we're back here, I'm gonna warp somewhere else. If I remember correctly, there was another he was uh Right around this area, I think. No. Where was that shit? Maybe it was here, I don't... I don't know. I'm looking at this map and it's not looking familiar to me. Like, where the hell... Was this another area right here? That might have been another one. Damn, I wish I could remember. Fuck. Alright. I'm sorry, folks. I can't remember where all the ice passageways were. I know there's one close to, like, the exit of the area, I think. Somewhere. I know there's, like, a quest guy, like, hanging around behind, like, an ice wall or something like that. That's nothing? Shit. I was thinking that was something there, but I guess not. Okay. Oops. Oh well. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Man, we... I didn't even realize we were going to take damage from that. Jesus. Alright. Alright. 
so what the fuck. We're gonna go... We're gonna go over this way. Oh, you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking I can't find it because... We're on the wrong level anyways. I jumped there. Game. I hit the B button. Unresponsive fucking piece of shit. Yeah, that's the thing I don't like about the Wii controller. It seems, at times, unresponsive. Like, especially when I'm in battle, you know, I'll... I'll press the A button to select an art, and sometimes it doesn't work. Like, I gotta hit it like two or three fucking times. It's like, jeez, what, what, what do I gotta do? Press the button harder? I, I, that doesn't make any sense. Now, I don't like using the Wiimote all that much. But I don't want to spend $30 for a classic controller either just to play one game. Even though that's probably better. I probably like it a lot more. I'm not a big fan of the Wiimote. It works for Twilight Princess, I guess. I don't really play a whole lot of Wii games, but it worked for Twilight Princess. I did like the controls uh, for that game. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Most of the time I prefer, like, I don't know, I didn't like the GameCube controller either, so... I mean, I guess when the when the Wiimote, uh, when I, tr when I got a Wii and started playing Twilight Princess on the Wii instead of the Game... Instead of the GameCube, it was, uh... Well, it was an upgrade just due to the fact that the GameCube controller just sucks so much balls. Don't like the controller. Yeah, alright, this guy was like hanging around over here, right? Secret location? I'm gonna melt this ice over here because I think that's the only other one besides the one in the beginning that I found. And. Well, there might be a third one somewhere that I forgot about. Then I'll probably just end the episode. See, I thought I was going to advance the plot in this game, but honestly, I really didn't that much. And I found a magma stone. Yeah, here we go. Here it is. Yeah, I kind of figured it'd be a hero, uh, a Nippon stuck behind here. Chokins won't let you get away, huh? Whatever. So we're gonna heavy, heavy equipment, huh? Anything else? That's it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. They're right in front of us. This represents no problem whatsoever. Riki can win by himself. Don't get careless, guys. Manifest yourself. Riki, 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.
see like there, I selected the freaking lightning and it didn't work. It's like, what the hell? There. Yeah, you gotta hit the button twice. It seems like sometimes. Cool. Let's keep this up. Let us remain vigilant. Well, that was easy. Actually, that's the first time he helped you, but whatever. Well, I guess we helped you by untrapping you initially, I suppose. Huh? Who is she praying to? Whatever. Alright. Well, thanks a lot, buddy. Yeah, we get some gold experience, heavy armor. My power to protect my friends. It's unslotted. Which does kind of blow. Let's take a look at it. I know Shulk can equip heavy armor, can he? Hmm. Well, it is better. The only downside, it's unslotted. But it does look pretty badass, I guess. Sort of. But nah, I'm not going to use it. But either way, that's all for this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. In the next episode, I'm going to see if there's one more ice path that we can melt, and then we'll go to the tower. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.